Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to test the most budget friendly macro gear for macro photography. I will be using Sony ZV-E10 as a camera, TTR is in 40mm macro lens and the Godox 350 flash system. To me this is the most cheapest, most affordable gear for macro photography. I have already tested the Sony ZV-10 with my other macro lenses, the video I have already uploaded in the YouTube channel. But today I am going to test with the cheapest macro lens, TD Artisan 40mm macro lens which is about $100 in price. The Sony ZV-10 is about $700 in price and the Godot 350 is about $130. So to me this is the most cheapest available macro gear for photography. In few minutes, I'll be going to the lake near to my home for taking some pictures outdoor with this affordable macro gear system. I'll be using a DIY diffuser for this flash system, which is very easy and very simple. I've got plenty of videos for diffuser system for flash in my YouTube channel. If you're interested to make yourself, Radiant Diffusers, please watch my old videos in this channel. But today I'll be using a my old version of this the diffuser system with this setup. So let me go and start to take some pictures outdoor and I'll show you the pictures at the end of this video. Today I am here again by the side of a lake near to my home with my Sony ZV-E10 and the lens is TDR is in 40mm macro lens and a Godox 350 flash with a diffuser on top of it. Let me try this cheap very affordable APS-C camera with a very affordable TD Artisan which is about $100 in price uh, to see the outcome of this macro photography today. I'll show you the pictures at the end of the video. Let me find some suitable subject today. There are some scattered bushes around this place and uh, it's early in the morning so I'm not sure well, get some insects. If I don't find any insect, I'll try with the flowers. And certainly I'll find some ants, but I've taken so many ants pictures in the last few days. I don't want to take any more. There are some dew drops on the leaves. So I'll try to take some pictures of it as well. You see the fine little water drops on the leaves. I am back from macro work. Today I got some stunning shots of flowers during my macro work. Unfortunately I did not get suitable insect subject today but I am extremely happy with this gear system and the pictures I have taken today. I will show you the pictures right now but before going to that pictures let me tell you a few more things for the beginners. With this gear system you must have a flash diffuser. Today I've used my old fashion old style diffuser. In couple of days I'll be going for another macro work with my mini size radiant diffuser for this flash system. I've got plenty of videos in my YouTube channel for the making process of these radiant diffusers. I have given the link of my playlist in the description below. So if you want to make yourself one, please watch my videos and make yourself absolutely no cost involved. Let me show you 
how I fix this mini radiant diffuser for the flash. This is very simple. This is only a two piece system. One is diffuser and this one is reflector. So just hold it like this. Let me show you. That's it. Very simple, very easy, and absolutely no cost involved in this radiant diffuser. So this is the mini radiant diffuser. I should say it's a micro radiant diffuser for this small tiny system. If you want to make yourself this radiant diffuser, please watch my videos in my playlist and make yourself one. After showing my pictures of this session today, I'll be giving you some very important tips at the end of the video for the beginners. So please keep watching until the end. Now it is about the tips for the beginners. I have given a list of tips for macro photography down below in the description box. But for the beginners, the most important thing for macro photography to keep the camera hold tight so that you don't get any camera shape. And the Sony ZV-10 doesn't have any mechanical sensor stabilization so if you want to use sony z v10 you have or any other or any other camera you have to hold it very tight like this so that you don't get any camera shake during your photography and also you have to do a very precise focusing of the subject especially on the eyes or the particular area you want to focus you have to be very precise bringing forward and backward camera. Next week, I'll be uploading a couple of videos on spider photography on my this tabletop studio with this Sony ZV-10. I'll show you the performance of Sony ZV-10 on tabletop studio with a moving subject like a spider. Finally, if you like my techniques, if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel. Watch my upcoming videos. Stay connected. Bye-bye.